Dave's dad, Danny Downing. I'm the skipper of the Pride of Cornwall. And we are a sardine ring netting boat. We've got a sonar, which uh, is basically called a searchlight sonar. And uh, we search with a with a beam pattern 200 metres from the boat, scan really anywhere from the surface down to the seabed. The coloration on, on the outside of the screen is the seabed. Right, so anything that comes up in between that point and that point is generally fish. At the minute, that's showing hard ground. As you, as you look on the computer, you can see the hard ground there. The green, green triangles are the hard ground. And that's showing that up there as that. So you know that the yellow is the sand, the red's the hard ground, and any fish would be a red, a red dense mark moving in towards the boat. That's what we'd know would be fish. So obviously we'd stay away from the stay away from the hard ground because that would rip our net if the net was to touch it. So we generally try and fish on the nice yellow stuff, which is the sand. Generally work at night is when the sardines come up in the water to the surface, so we can easily catch the fish. If they're down on the seabed, it's hard for us to catch them because we, the likes of my net only fishes to about 32 metres deep. So if the fish are down deeper than that, obviously my net will go over, straight over the top of the fish, so I can catch them. So as, as it gets darker, the fish come up to the surface. So obviously they're, they're more up in the net, so when you, when you close the bottom of the net, they don't swim down through and escape. When they used to do it, I think there was a, they were crews of 10, 10 to 15 crew on a boat. Whereas now this boat in particular, we work just myself and one crew. As, uh, as technology has helped us dramatically, most boats of this size are generally three to four crew. So um, the last six months we managed to get this one to work at two-handed, which is what you call it, with this one skipper and one crew. As the skipper did, who had it built. This is my third year doing this specific job. Uh, but I've been fishing all my life. Average haul, average haul on this boat, you can vary from any, anything from a, from a couple hundred kilos right up to 20 tonnes. Obviously, we can carry that fish, so what fish we can carry is, uh, is let back alive. Generally, work every night, the weather permitting, Saturdays and Sundays included. Basically, we could go, we could go up to two weeks without going to sea for poor weather, and then we might have to work for three weeks non-stop. But uh, that's... It all depends on the weather. I've always been in the industry. I grew up with it. My dad had a big boat. And sort of left school and went straight into it and never really done much else different. Maybe a few little jobs in between. I've got I wouldn't have had enough of fishing, but I've always gone back to it. So it's in your blood. It's hard to shake off. <laughs> 